<laughs> What's going on, YouTube? This is SB3 Gaming, and I am back with another episode of Outlast Whistleblower. Now, I think it's going to pick up where I left off with Whistleblower, but I haven't actually tried, so ooh, hopefully. Um, well, I guess we'll see. Is this where I left off? I don't remember. Um... I mean, this seems like something. Yeah, I'm barefoot. Okay, cool. Spooky. Uh. Why is it making noise? Why? game gives me so much stress and I mean that's an awesome thing to get from a video game but oh my god my heart beats so much faster when I play this freaking game like this oh shit I don't know why I didn't just go faster uh. Oh, uh, yep, I kind of figured this was going to happen. Uh, but, oh, uh, that's not what I wanted. Where did he go? Oh. Okay. I glitched him. Oh, poop. Dad, you can't do... I'm stuck. Gonna be right behind me, and I'm gonna jump and skadoosh. Bye. Okay. Safety. Oh. Fuck. Oh. I don't know where to go. I'm gonna end up dying, but that's okay, because I don't know where the heck I'm supposed to be going. Oh, well, maybe I won't get a whole lot accomplished in this episode. Maybe it's just gonna be me dying over and over again. Who knows? Okay. I don't know where to go. I think it's sick. I'm coming! <laughs> oh, I'm supposed to get the thing to unlock. So it's probably a copper... Somebody. Okay, I'm just gonna fall. Now that I know you're real, because the shadow made it look like you were not real. You have to feed, huh? Oh, shit. No. Mother f fluffer. <sighs> I don't know where to go. Um. Okay. Okay. 
I don't know where to go. I'm missing something because I don't know where to go. Hello. I don't know where to go. to do I don't know where he went oh uh. <laughs> my butt No, oh, I don't have an itch. I'm good, bud. Thanks, man. Hmm. Oi. ding dee bing ding bong. You want to help me, huh? I don't think you want to help me. <gasps> okay. Okay. Something I don't like this music. If something bad's about to happen. Oh, a, a document. Good. This is gonna help break up the the heart attack that I'm having right now. Uh, gender selection temp in Mount Massive. Something. Hold on, what did it say? Contractors. Case uh, MM12 00715 update 271. Form note All materials herein to be transcribed according to form 4083. With forensic revisions as benefits ongoing lawsuit 120715. Author Ethan Strada. Notes, this is a request for specific legal consultation in the ongoing lawsuit by Melissa Cho against the Murkoff Charitable Psychiatric Inc. USA, originally filed in 2010. At the time of Mrs. Cho's, or I'm sorry, Miss Cho's termination, the psychosomatic effects of her morphogenic engine on a female employees and patients have been well established. Already more than seven female employees and patients had reached fictitious half-term pregnancies in a matter of weeks before miscarrying to the non-existent children, five of them fatally. Female employees were moved to the higher floors in the facility, then to other buildings, and eventually entirely off the Mount Massive facility. The critical secrecy of Project Wallrider necessitated secrecy in the motivating factor for the reassignments and terminations, resulting in perceived injustice from several terminating terminated parties. Miss Cho succeed, has su succeeded in acquiring court ordered FD, FOIA release of the documents surrounding her termination. Those documents will need to be generated and post dated, providing an ameliorating ameliorating information while skirting the relevant secrecies of the project. Please advise Ethan Sriskaskandra, uh, consultant MM214. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Where's it at? The Illuminoria. I'm going to look that up. I don't know what Illuminoria's Ami. Ameliorate. 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 Make something something bad or unsatisfactory. I can't talk. Make something bad or unsatisfactory better. Oh. 
providing oh, okay so it makes the situation of her termination seem less bad hello okay. fine this is fine uh, wait so homeboy is probably gonna be like right around this corner Oh shit, I don't know how to. Oh, okay, never mind. Overthinking, overthinking, overthinking. Jump, 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 jump. Oh, oh no, you won't. You're a dumb, dumb, dumb head. Oh god, it's only been 10 minutes. Seems like an hour. Alright, I'm just gonna go ahead and close this behind me, because I don't want nothing to sneak up and bite me in the butt. Okay. I'd say as long as I don't have to go to some water monster again, I'm going to be fine. I I say that like there was a water monster in the last game. It definitely insinuated like there was, and it scared the crap out of me because I did not feel safe at all in that water. But it was actually probably the safest place that I could have ever been. Because nothing could sneak up on me. This game does stress me out quite a bit. And it, I mean, it's a good thing because it shows that they're they're developing the the area enough that I'm uneasy in this situation. Oh, bud. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't. Uh... Oh, this seems like a bad idea. What do I do? Hello? Oh, shit. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh. Oh. Well, that's not good. Oh, look, a hole. What is this guy, Superman? Is the flame getting higher at least? Oh, shit, it is. Okay. Oh, God. Focus. <laughs> you must focus. Okay, I did it. Probably a really bad idea. Ah, damn. Too easy. Sounds like a church. Alright. God and Family. Excerpt from recordings of Dr. Bruce Newhouse, MD. Employed by Mountain Massive Hospital, 1958 to 1965. Father Clark. Far be it from me to lie to a man of God. So let me at least say that I will do my personal best to improve the safety of your working conditions. Dr. B okay. I thought they were talking to priest to priest. Um... I and the rest of the staff truly appreciate your uh, appreciate everything you do for our patients. And if you feel threatened to, by anybody in particular, simply let us know, and we can either increase chemical restraints or administer a lobotomy or similar calming procedure. Boy, uh, don't underestimate the contribution your sermons offer our patients, especially considering the depth and necessarily chaotic nature of hy hypnotherapy. Our patients need the bedrocks of God and family. Not all of our poor unfortunates have families to call upon, and so the burden and calling is yours. We are all relying, uh, we are all of us relying on your faith and hard work. Damn. That's not, oh, uh, Dr. Bruce Newhouse something? I don't know. So basically, there's a priest, I'm assuming, everything that happened in the first Outlast came back in some shape or form. So I'm, I think it maybe that's the priest that was trying to get me. Okay. 
I saw a ladder, so. I'm just gonna assume that I need to go this way. What's up there? Oh, it's the wall rider guy. I think. See? I can't look up that far, but. That's the wall rider. Alright. Surely. I can get up here. Nope. Uh, here. Am I going up this? What is this, like a clock tower? Uh, parkour. Parkour, parkour. You know, I've noticed that he's not as, um... into the commentary like Miles was. Miles was very much like, every time something would happen, there'd be a note. Um, well, hold on, let me... Yeah, I've read everything thus far. Uh, the front door... Okay, I'm just gonna assume it's bad. Aha! Good thing I didn't run away. I wouldn't have gotten my extra battery. Okay, what's gonna be waiting for me down there? I'm gonna assume it's the doctor guy again. Well, naturally, I gotta go down the dark path, because... True safety is. Okay. Huh, oh, okay, so I just went around in a big circle. That makes sense. <sighs> But I've got an extra battery out of it, so worthwhile trip, if I do say so myself. Oh, what's down here? Oh, that's the doctor, dude. I've got nowhere to go if this dude's around the corner. Dad? Dad. I'm not even gonna look. Nope, 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 nope. Ah! Ah! Um, 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 um. You wanna bet? Go around the circle, I'm gonna go down here. Ha 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 ha, I don't know where to go. I'm just aimlessly running because it seems like a safe thing to do. Okay. Ha! No, 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 no. Can I go over here? Made it to safety. Oh, sweet baby Jesus. Okay, it's saving, so something really bad's gonna happen. That's one thing I learned whenever I played, uh, oh god, what was the name of that game? What is that? Until dawn. Every time something, every time there was a save, and I went to a cutscene, something bad was about to happen. My experience in horror games. I loved uh, Until Dawn, but I hated it at the same time. That makes sense. Oh, it's water. Okay. Please follow the blood. Follow the blood. Oh my god. 
I'm gonna try, bud. Oh, sweet baby Jesus. This. Find the main valve and shut off the gas tax. But he's dying. And I don't think he's gonna be my friend. I don't think he wants to be my friend. I think he wants to hurt me if he gets out. If I'm being 100% honest. But I need to go that way. Ooh. Hello? Does anybody here wanna be. Like, why is nobody offering to help me? Like, why wouldn't this be something somebody would want? Ooh. I see a battery. Hold on, what's my object? Find the main valve and shut off the gas to access the airlock. So is there like a hole or something I need to go up that I just don't see? It had to have me go this way for some reason. Like, can I get on top? Nope. Why did it bring? Oh, I'm dumb. Ah, oh, another document. It heard my cries for something. Uh, lesser known ecological aspects of humanity. Excerpt from 1957 and comment on IG report operations of TSD. Seven, influencing human behavior. The potential use of psychochemicals in political action operations is well recognized, although it has not been explored as thoroughly as it might be expected. Chemical division includes it as an objective of its program to be prepared to support or make such operations possible. Non-chemical methods of accomplishing political action operations are in also included in the program. Notes. J. Lawler, April 15, 1985. That's my mom's birthday. Uh, <coughs> Present the above uh, MK Ultra excerpt to Technical Services Division for budgeting and authorization of continued research into continued research into research of Dr. Rudolf Wernicke, or I'm sorry, Wernicke, asset 414866. And Project Wall Rider. Autopsy of recovered test subjects show chemical content of bodies, metallic tumors, and evidence of subdermal combustion. Oh, that doesn't sound good. That indicates heavy psychochemical dosage. See note 92387 HS Berlin 6, September 1938. I think I hear a doctor. Oh, I do. Oh, I hear the doctor again. What was that noise? Oh my god! A lot more jump scares than this one. Whew. Oh man. Oh, okay. Thanks for. Three, seven. Okay, I'm gonna remember that. I was like, maybe I should open it for him. Be a bro. What? What? Oh, shit. Fuck. Nothing in here. Uh. Oh, can I?
in here. Oh. This game stresses me the front out, man. Oh my god. I like how this guy, Wayland Park is his name. I like how he goes through and he actually shuts these doors kind of semi-quietly. Miles is like, bah, bah, get out of my way. That didn't actually scare me. I mean, like, I kind of expected it. I was walking down a surprisingly well-lit hallway. Something was gonna happen. It was good, though. I mean, I'll, I'll give him that. That was a really good opportunity. I'm gonna close this behind me, because I don't want to get anything up my butt. Alright. Can I just, like... I mean, honestly... Honestly, at this point, it's like... I'm weighing out my options. I'm gonna take a bottle of pills, because I'm probably not gonna get out of this. Like, mm -mm. I'd rather go out on my own. Project Wall Raider patient status report for Frank Manera. Like, Panera? Uh, Murkoff Psychiatric Systems, Project Wall Raider, Mount Massive, Colorado, case number 209. Patient Frank Antonio Manera. Consultation dated uh, August 29th, 2012. Initial date of patient consult. Uh, November 1st, 2010. Age, uh, patient age is 36. Gender is male. Observing physician is Dr. 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 Carl Houston. So that's not Dr. Bruce something. It must be their division that they're working in. Uh, um, therapy status. Minimal morphogenic engine activity. And only at extreme stages 5 and 6 levels of hormone therapy. Dream states return repeatedly to images of isolation and betrayal. Zero lucid state. Uh, diagnostics, heavy bronchial, yeah, bronchial acclimation consistent with patients with histories of tobacco and marijuana, exceptionally low REM activity. Interview notes, at the time of this interview, <laughs> Frank was down to 155 pounds from his admission weight of 228. He was lethargic and largely non-responsive, exhibiting interest only in the hyp hypnotherapy script pattern 9, Wernicke. Concerning drinking blood from the chest of sleeping men. Ugh, don't go to sleep around this dude. Uh, he continues to refuse baths or the attentions of a barber outside of the general anesthesia, stating, If I cannot partake, I cannot share. Huh. Recommend forced nutrition for Mr. Monera if we cannot find something he likes to eat. Murkoff Psychiatric Systems Project Wall Rider, Mount Massive, Colorado. Weird. Uh, da, 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 da. Go away. Okay, bud. Ah, uh, don't know how to turn it off. I'm here. Ready, ready. Ready, ready. What am I supposed to do? Why would I want to go in here? Alright, bud. I'll leave you alone. Ah. Well, that's not what I wanted to do.
All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here, guys. Um, Got to leave you guys a little bit of suspense, and we're at that 30-minute mark, so I want to make sure that um, I'm adhering to that as much as I possibly can. Uh, but, yeah, thank you guys all so much for watching. Um, be on the lookout for this episode or the continuation of this series next week. Um, and I will see you all in the next one. Thanks so much.